Hi everyone, so I'm just going to be starting off with a water activated body paint. This one is from Wolf, but you can use anything that you can get. I do, I think, three layers of this before I feel like it's opaque enough. You kind of just want to make sure that everything is smooth and there aren't any lines from your brush. I achieve this by going in different directions when I'm applying and using more of a padding motion than actual brush strokes. Then I'm going to go over the top of this with just a cream paint. The reason I did this is because the water activated paint had more of a metallic finish and I wanted more of a matte finish. But the reason I didn't go over with the cream paint to begin with is the white body paint creates kind of a nice smooth canvas and makes it a little less blotchy to apply. I'm also going to just set all of this with a white powder. I got this at the Halloween store. I really like it. Um, this will just make it so the cream paint won't move. Then I'm going to go and I'm going to kind of just sketch out what everything's going to look like before I go in with body paint. This is just so that everything will go smoothly and I don't have to try and clean up black body paint off of a white canvas. I didn't really sketch in the nose or the spider web or any of the designs because I wasn't really sure where I was going to be taking this, so I just did the mouth and the eyes. This worked out just fine for me. If you do know what you're wanting to do with your designs though, I would recommend going in with the eyeshadow first. This is just black body paint. Um, I'm kind of going and making the outline first and then I went in with the, a bigger brush and filled it in. I didn't go too close to my eyes. I wasn't really sure if these were made to be near my eyes and I didn't want to check. So I ended up just doing around my eyes with the body paint and then going in with a liquid liner and a cream liner for around my eyes because I knew those were made for my eyes. After I finished applying these, I kind of just went in with the body paint again and tried to blend them as evenly as possible. This is just an orange body paint. I think it's wolf still. Um, I'm just kind of creating little half circles around my eye. I liked this design the best out of all the sugar skulls that I looked at, so that's why I'm doing it. You kind of want to just create your own sugar skull. I think that's what's fun about these is that everybody's is kind of unique and different. Then I went in and did the mouth. I created kind of a skeleton shaped mouth and then did a little spin on it and I felt like it kind of reminded me of Nightmare Before Christmas with the little half circles and the purple that I ended up blending into the bottom. I'm just using um, black eyeshadow and gray eyeshadow and a purple eyeshadow to do all the shading around my face. I kind of wanted this to look more like a Day of the Dead mask than actual like sugar skull. So I did my shading to kind of make everything protrude outwards so that it looked like it was almost coming off of my face.
but I'm just using the purple to go ahead and shade some of the actual skeleton just so it's not so flat looking. All of my shading is going downwards for the most part. Then I'm going to take a green body paint and paint my lips. Then I'm going to take a lipstick that I have from NYX. It's part of their Macaroon collection. I think it was Key Lime. And I just went over the face paint with that. And then I'm going to create my skeleton mouth. I went through and I put it on the inside of my mouth and then just did my little teeth marks. Um, here I'm just painting on a nose. I kind of looked at a picture of a skeleton nose, but I kind of wanted to make it a little more artsy than a normal skeleton nose as well. So I just kind of mixed that with whatever I really felt like doing, I guess. And then I went back to the green body paint and started doing a rough sketch of my spider web and then followed that with the black. kind of just easier to show you than tell you what I'm really doing here as far as a spider web goes. Here I'm just kind of doing my little flower. I was going to just originally do three petals but I ended up going back and doing more. Um, and then I'm highlighting it with a brighter orange and I end up putting this on around my eyes as well just to give it some mention. And then I just go in and add some mascara and false lashes and some glitter around the eyes and I think that's it. Thank you for watching.